So I'm just on my way to Vienna International Airport to see them load up the equipment to take it to Jordan for the on-site inspection. And there's so much equipment, they need a jumbo jet. We're talking here about 63 metric tons of equipment. Another 67 tons went by ship down to Jordan and arrived uh, about three days ago. 25 containers, two generators and auxiliary equipment that's in the belly of the plane. Why so much? Basically an OSI requires this much equipment. There's a lot of different sorts of things that we need, a lot of electricity. The equipment inside them is modular in design that we can transport it in any way. What if the OSI was in a really difficult place to get to? Okay, so that's why you see the flight containers that are behind me. They're made for uh, intermodal transport. They're made also to fly on a smaller aircraft or to be put on trucks and transported uh, in, a, in a different platform. So every which way is thought of, basically. Outside of carrying these containers on donkeys. And what if the Executive Council doesn't approve the OSI? If halfway in flight that there was decided that we're not going to have an OSI, would turn the plane around in flight and bring it back home. That's the only possible way to actually launch an OSI uh, is to pre-deploy your equipment after a, an inspection request has been, been made. Well, the Executive Council have their votes tomorrow. Come back then to see if this OSI is going ahead.